Yo, what's happening, guys? It's your boy Zach back in the house with another workout video, and you know what time it is. Today was all about back. I included deadlifts once again. Now, I was pretty strapped for time today. I had to go back to work after this workout. So, typically, I work out for about two hours, and I only had 90 minutes today. Uh, so, I started off the workout. I really wanted to just kind of exhaust myself initially. So, I decided to do 10 sets of 10 reps with my body weight on deadlifts with just a double overhand grip, uh, 60 second rest in between. Honestly, it was easier than I thought it was going to be. So if I take on that challenge, I may alternate it uh, every other week with some strength work one week and then a 10 by 10 the next week, just kind of depending on how my energy feels. Uh, so I started off the workout with that 10 by 10 and then after that I moved on to a, you can see me getting after some curls, a little bonus time. Uh, Decided to do a barbell pen lay row. Uh, this style of row is very, very humbling. Uh, for anybody out there that really cheats on their rows, give these a shot. I would lighten the weight by 50 to 75% of what you can barbell row. And really try to give these a shot. They help with the start of the deadlift because they force you to pull up on the bar slightly to get your lats tight before you before you pull the bar off the floor and then you end up pulling to about your I was pulling to my upper abdomen you can see my elbows are out at about 45 degrees and you should get a nice squeeze through your upper back and if you're not that just means you're generating a lot of momentum and you're trying to sort of hump the bar which is super common when doing any sort of row variation uh, both these angles kind of sucked it seems like sometimes I get great angles and I feel like I'm getting better with the camera and then other times I just get shit angles. So once again, this is from the back. My tripod is a little bit short. I might opt for a six, six foot tripod here shortly. I think this one's about 58 inches. Uh, so I ended up doing four or five sets of 12 to 15 reps, just really working on form. And honestly, my low back felt fine doing these which was great but as you guys know I always try to get lower back taxing exercises out of the way first and then I go to stuff that's a little bit less taxing on my spine and my spinal erectors so after 10 sets of deads and five sets of rows my back was already pretty fatigued so I opted for just five sets of 10 with chin-ups instead of pull-ups you can see my grip is about shoulder width and these were hard today. Getting 10 was a task for sure. But they felt good. You know, doing chin ups over a number of years has really paid off overall. I used to do grease the groove, which basically you take half of your max reps and you do sets throughout the day. I did that back in college, and that's how I got better at body weight pull ups, even when I was a little heavier. When I was, I'm sitting about 180 now. and you know, uh, when I was 200 plus pounds, of course, pull-ups are hard when you start gaining body body weight, and they get easier as you're lighter, uh, so they feel pretty easy nowadays, but when I was 200 plus pounds, they were definitely more difficult, but grease the groove definitely helps, so anybody out there that wants to increase their pull-ups, push-ups, dips, I would look into the grease the groove method on Google and check that out. So after that, I moved on to a V-bar seated cable row. And my big focus here was the V-bar. If you pull with normal force, you don't get a big contraction through your upper back. It's more a lat exercise. But you'll see here, I really try to pull hard. And I was getting a better squeeze than I usually do with this handle. And this handle just felt so good today. I was really happy with it. Uh, this is the final set. I did a triple drop set. Basically, I just said, all right, you're going to get 100 reps. I don't care how many sets it takes. You're going to bust them out. So I got to about, mm, I don't know, 63 or something like that. And then this triple drop set is what made up those last 37 reps. I basically rested 10 seconds in between each set just to catch my breath and reduce some of the, the fatigue I was feeling so I wasn't leaning back too much. After that, I moved on to a regular lap pull down. You guys know from last week, if you watched my back video, I am now in love with a more narrow grip so you can see my hands are right where the bar bends versus about a hand width wider than that which what I was doing for a while I'm getting better contraction through my upper back I don't know if you notice but I can actually pinch my traps all the way together and I'm getting better downward and upward rotation and my shoulders feel more symmetrical as I pull 
Uh, so this was a final drop set. I did a quadruple drop set here. And the reason I did some of these drop sets is because, like I said, I was pressed for time, so I needed to get out of there. But also, if you're pressed for time, then turn up the intensity. You know, the more time you have, the more you can do straight sets, the longer you can rest, the more strength work you can do. But if you're pressed for time, then turn up the intensity, start doing some drop sets, super sets, giant sets, anything like that will turn up the intensity and will leave you satisfied when you get out of the gym. So we're winding down the workout here. Uh, you guys you guys know I love this machine. I always try to include some sort of unilateral row at the end. I also like to do pull downs as well one arm at a time to help bring some balance to my shoulders and it just I have a better mind muscle connection with one side of my body when I'm not having to worry about both shoulders at the same time and just can focus on one side. Um, I was happy with this angle. I thought it was going to be too close, but you guys can kind of see what's happening through my shoulder. And you can see once again, my elbow is about 45 degrees from my body. Uh, that's why I like this machine too, because that 45 degree angle forces your mid and upper traps rhomboids to work a little bit more, your rear delt as well. And of course your lats are still working, but they don't work quite as hard as when your elbows are tucked all the way against your sides, like you're trying to rub your elbows against your sides. So I ended up doing four sets of 15. My ultimate goal here was constant tension, so no resting at the top. If you guys, next time you do any sort of movement, just pay attention to how long you rest at the top of a movement or at the bottom, trying to catch your breath or trying to uh, reduce any fatigue you do feel those those seconds even if it's you know one two three seconds make all the difference as far as the pump you might feel on certain exercises so I encourage you guys to just keep going rather than stopping and pausing in between reps uh, I forgot I was recording here and uh, <laughs> I thought about taking a selfie for Instagram but I decided against it uh, <clears throat> so I did a superset here at the end Started with straight arm pullovers. You guys know I love this exercise, and I'm actually working on more of a bent elbow, and it really, really does hit the lats more, and it takes your triceps out of the movement. So you guys should definitely give that a shot if you do this. Make sure you get as much range of motion as you can. I basically try to make sure my, my arm gets all the way parallel with the floor, if not a little bit higher than that. And you can see I duck my head as the bar comes up, and then I... When I'm doing a good job with this movement, I duck my head at the top and then I arch my back slightly and bring my chest up as the bar comes down to my waist. Now, as you can see, as you get tired, you're just, it's going to be very hard to do that. So do your best to do that for as many reps as you can. And then if things get a little bit, a little bit loosey goosey, as long as there's no pain, just keep going. So then I rushed over, I was doing dumbbell shrugs, no, shra no straps, and my grip was shot from those deadlifts and everything else. So holding on to the 70s was a chore, but I did sets of 20 right here. Just trying to pinch and then slight elbow bend at the top. That's going to be it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Also, hit that like button if you enjoyed today's video. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.